Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to sound like Dinox, or how to make Rage like Dinox. I don't know. I haven't really thought it through what the title is going to be 100% just yet, but I wanted to make sure that uh, I give props to Dinox, who sent me a MIDI to make the melody for. Uh, he sent me, like, a bunch of MIDIs, but uh, I used one from his little mini kit that he sent me, and we're going to, you know, make some Rage, all that. So I just wanted to give my proper props to Donox, and today I hope I don't embarrass myself because I know he's probably going to see this video, but we're just going to go right into it. So the first thing that you want is a synth that sounds like this. Well, okay, hang on. And that is just playing super simple chords. Um, like this, and then we got the bass, and then the little two things here. So this synth is actually a Dynox synth. Wait, you guys can't even see that. Hang on, let me just... Alright, now you guys can see. So this is the uh, Dynox preset uh, from his Rage Kit. I think it's called Andromeda. Like, hang on, if I go in here... Yeah, it's called Andromeda. And it's the... Uh, I don't even know how to say his fucking name, but it's this preset. And then you want the bass notes to sound like this. Just following the main chords. And this is also a serum preset. This is Star Blast bass, also from the Dynox Andromeda kit. I will leave the link to the Andromeda kit down below, by the way, if you guys want this kit as well. You can go and cop that. Um, yeah, so the next part of the melody should be this synth right here, which I've just got playing choppy notes. Which, this is the cube chord preset, again, from the Andromeda kit. Um, and then I have a link to a certain... Uh, channel where I've got an OTT on it with the depth turned just a little bit off the upwind a little bit up and that's really it so without the, the without the plugins it sounds like this and then I turned on the OTT give it more life and then we got a vocodex and then I turned it to male just a little bit So that's playing that, and then we've got the ARP. Now this this is a signature of Dynox's that I've kind of picked up and put into my own loops. So again, it is just um, the Betrayal Pluck sound from uh, the Andromeda kit. Um, and I also have a link to this as well. So this is what it sounds like by itself. Vocodex. OTT. I actually learned that trick watching him break it down. Um, but yeah, so all together... Um, the melody should sound some, something like this. So then I've got two more little sounds. We've got this lead right here. Which this is the Stardust Pluck, again from the Dynox Andromeda Kit. And then I've got this one as well. Also from the Andromeda kit, this is the Orbit lead. So that's for the hook. That way we get a little something different. So next we've got the Dynox Tennis Kick, which this is also from the Andromeda Kit. As you can see here, if I go to this, you can see 
that it's got the Andromeda drums, the FLPs, and the Serum Bank, which is where I got all the presets from. So again, huge shout out to Donox for making that kit. And then we've got this loud clap, which I don't even know where I got this from, but you can use pretty much any clap, but this is like the main sound that I use. So pretty simple stuff. And then we've got the Noah fake hi-hat, which this is, I believe this is in the, uh, hang on. This is in one of the Noah kits. I think it's, I think it's Mad Max's collab one where he did this. Let's see, hi-hat. Yep, here it is. So shout out to Noah for that. Very simple hi-hat pattern. Now this is a very specific 808 that was used in most of, well not most of, but I know that he used this 808 in uh, Betrayal by Trippy Red and Drake. So you want this kind of 808 that follows the same root notes as the chords. Finally, you want to open hi-hat that hits on some of the 808s, which again, shout out to Dinox for giving me his stash kit. So all together, the drums will sound like this. things that you need are tags and also effects. So I've got this uh, Rio Wave effects from the Rio Leva uh, 25k stash kit. And then we've got the Dynox tag and my new tag that I just got um, because you know Dynox made, made the MIDI so technically he made some of the melody. We love you, Dylan. So next, this is all that you need on the master. This is literally only things that Dynox uses to master is a fruity soft clipper with the post at 87% and the threshold at negative 4.4 dB, and then a fruity limiter. That that's literally it. This is all Dynox uses to master. And then you want to throw on a underwater sounding EQ, which this is the one that Dynox uses, so I was like, you know what, I'll do it too. And then you got a Fruity Love filter, and then uh, just make sure it filters right like that. And then you should get a Rage Beat that sounds something like this. guys thank you so much for watching this video if you liked it make sure to leave a like and hey tag Dynox in the comments below and maybe we'll get him to see this video and yeah uh, I'm gonna make this be um, available to download on my YouTube channel as soon as this video goes live so thank you so much everybody for watching and I'll see you guys later